<laughs> um, it's been an adventure, let's be honest. It's all a bit blurry. There's been some really testing times, but there's been some great laughs, and there's been some memories that'll last all my life, some good memories. And the bad memories just fade away. But the bad memories in this sport are just insignificant. Literally, the second you're finished running, or the second those bad times are over, you never think about them again. Whereas the good times and the sense of achievement last for the rest of your life. So, to me, it's a it's an all-round win-win sport. And I feel great. I'm happy with. Excuse me. Sorry. I've drank so much Coca-Cola last, last three weeks. Sorry. I'm so tired. I've, um, I've, I've achieved the first part of what I set out to achieve. I've got a new FKT for Wales, I'm pleased with that. Um, it's quite daunting to be honest, and this is why people have been saying to me over the last 24 48 hours, you know, try and enjoy the moment and all the rest of it. My mentality is to just, this has to be treated like an aid station, a stopping point before I carry on. Because mentally already here, I can feel my body and my mind starting to shut down a little bit to go into relaxation mode, which isn't going to help me get through this next phase. So I need to get going, I need to get moving, and I need to get back in the mindset of an ultra a day, or X amount of days, which is what we have been doing. My approach is going to differ now slightly, because we're on a, a tight time schedule, all of us, the whole group. We've all got different things going on next week, so I will be running more hours and sleeping less hours. I won't cover the ground as quickly now as I have been doing over the last four or five days on the Wales Path due to the, the elevation profile is going to be higher for the next 177 miles. So the poles will be coming back out, there'll be a lot more hiking up the hills and see how we get on. Basically nearly 880 miles. Now I've got a, looking for that little acorn. Okay, now we yeah. So obviously we just finished there. We crossed over. We're going to go down here now through the Asen State to Sebby Cliffs. Find the stone. save that run, that's 2.13 miles from the end of the coast path to the start of the office dike, so I need to save that. Garmin, that's uploaded. As soon as that's uploaded, I'll then start a new run from here. Oh, I was going to say for me it's best I but it won't be obviously we're going to be in stages again, but I don't know, this just feels like a bit of inconsequential two point whatever miles but I needed to save it anyway just for accountability. Afternoon trail run. 400 feet, 2.12 miles. So, excuse my language, thinking mate. Right. 
new run started, off we go. Retrace my step, 2.12. It's tricky in there in places. Yeah, it's all Absolutely about Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if that comes under the Forest of Dean, but like a rainforest in places. Just beautiful. Loads of bracken, there's loads of sort of trees and moss all over them. But it's very stony. Look at the ground's very stony. A lot of exposed stone. Obviously from the amount of footfall it gets. But some of them were seriously wet and slippy. I'm glad I got the poles because I know they divide opinion, but they are good more for descending than ascending because you can just spread your weight a bit better and make sure your foot placement is correct. I've come too far to get injured now. So it's a bit of a change of change of format, change of mentality, change of approach, whatever you want to call it. So I'm moving slower, eating more but trying to cover more miles oh shit, there we go, little slip um, I can't even do more miles, more hours in a day and sleep less now for this this second section, if you will, of Offers Dyke after the Welsh Coast Path because we are now heading towards the finish line rather than the first finish line so whereas I've been doing I don't know what you look call it, an ultra a day, rest, think of the next one, keep thinking of I've got more ultras to come. This really is, I can wear myself out and I can then go home to bed when this is done. your battery. Woo! going hot, cold, wet, dry. Bring on the night, I say, get a base layer on and uh, at least when we're right it'll drop temperatures. Feeling alright though. So I'm on. I'm done nearly 20 miles now. 27. 
So I'm on about 49 miles for the day so far, all loaded up. The coast path obviously was this morning. Saved that run. And two and a bit miles down to the start of this run. So, people talk about mindset and like it's something you can just change overnight. So, a little glimpse into how I think. So mindset, I think, is something you only develop by either the life you live and the circumstances you find yourself in, or in my case, I think I've got a pretty blessed life, so I choose to put myself in difficult situations. And by coming through them, I just develop what I would call resilience rather than mindset. So what, what will a break look like in the future? This. 10 to 15 minutes to eat and just go and then between 1 and 3 a.m. a.m. ah okay I'll see you about sleep I don't know till I get there I was gonna say you're gonna have to let me know how long you want to sleep for and I will wake you up no you just I need you to sleep as well I, I will sleep but what I'll set an alarm no I'll just do my own thing